Go Chuan paper, paper 2, question 3. The figure below shows the net of a cube. Find its volume. Now, I know for a fact that in a cube, all sides are the same. So if I 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 16, I can find the side. It's simply 16 divided by 4 equals to 4. And because the side is 4, 4 times 4 times 4, 64. 64 cm cube. Question 4. Write down the fraction exactly halfway between half and 7 over 8 in the simplest form. Now, if I draw a number line, half and 7 over 8, what I'm looking for is exactly half in between okay, these two fractions. How do I do that? I find the difference between these two fractions, and then the, and then I know that's the difference. And I divide it by 2, so that I know what is the gap between this fraction half and the halfway point, as well as from the halfway point to 7 over 8. So how would I do that? First, I take 7 over 8 minus half equals to 7 over 8 minus 4 over 8, because I changed the denominator to be the same, equals to 3, 8. Now, this 3, 8, I got to divide it by 2 so that I find the gap in between. So, 3 over 8 divided by 2 equals to 3 over 8 times 2. Okay, this is basic division of fraction. We have learned this before. Equals to 3 over 16. So, I know the gap in between is 3 over 16. I can either take half plus 3 over 16. I find this. Or I take 7 over 8 minus 3 over 16. I'll get the same answer. So I took half plus 3 over 16, I'll get the answer which is 11 over 16. Next question. The ratio of the number of red guppies to blue guppies in the tank was 2 is to 3. When some red guppies died, the ratio of red guppies to blue guppies became 2 is to 9. If there were 18 red guppies at first, how many red guppies died? Quite a simple question. First, I write down my ratio before and after. Before is 2 is to 3 and after is 2 is to 9. Now, something did not change in this question. The blue guppies did not change. The blue guppies remain the same throughout. So, I have to make the blue guppies units the same. So, 3 can become 9 times 3. So, the whole ratio, I multiply it out and I'll get this. Okay. Next. I know that I am trying to find how many guppies died and the change was from 6 units to 2 units. So 6 units minus 2 units equals to 4 units. Last part, how much is, how many units is the 18 red guppies? We are using it before. So 6u represented by 18, 1u is 18 divided by 6 equals to 3. Okay, 3, 1 unit is 3. So, what's the next step? 4u, because I'm trying to find how many died. 3 times 4 equals to 12. 12 guppies died. Next question. Brand A t-shirt costs $45 each, while brand B t-shirt costs 3p less. If p equals to 6, how many brand p B t-shirts can be bought with $216. First, I have to find out how much less is 3P. So 3P is simple. I know it is 6. So 3P, 3 times 6 equals to 18. How much does a brand B t-shirt cost? $45 minus 18 equals to 27. So each brand B t-shirt costs $27. Last step, 216 divided by 27 equals to 8. I can buy 8 shirts exactly. Question 9. Okay, I'm sorry, the order seems to be mixed up a bit. James and his brother have 180 altogether. If their brother bought James, sorry, if your father gave James another $40, James will have as much money as his brother. How much money has James at first? James and his brother have 180 altogether. Now, if 
their father gave James forty dollars. James will have as much as the brother. So obviously the brother has more. But how much more? From what we can read here, we know that the brother actually have forty dollars more than James. Because if James received forty dollars it's the same. So this amount equals to hundred and eighty dollars. To find how much is one unit here and one unit here is quite simple. Two units is obviously hundred and eighty minus forty equals to one forty. One unit is 140 divided by 2 equals to 70 so how much money has James at first 70 dollars remember your unit of measurement for your final answer next we're moving backwards we are moving to question 6 uncle Hing had 722 pears and oranges after selling three seven of the pears and two third of the oranges, he had the same number of pears and oranges left. How many oranges did he have at first? Now, first we know he have the same amount left. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that he has one minus three over seven pairs left, which is four over seven. He have. 1 minus 2 third which is 1 third so 4 over 7 of the pairs is equals to 1 third of the oranges so 4 7 of pairs is the same as 1 over 3 of oranges we have learned that in class we make the numerator the same because we are basically dividing the parts out Okay, I'll show you in model shortly. So this times 4, I get 4 over 12 of oranges. Okay, so 4, 4, numerator has become the same. I know 7 units for pairs total. And for oranges, the total number of units is 12. Okay, so total I have 19 units. Okay. Let me finish this up, I'll show the model. 19U is 722. 1U is 722 divided by 19 equals to 38. So how many oranges did he have at first? Looking at the oranges is 12U. 38 times 12 equals to 4. Five, six. Okay. Now, how do we actually draw the model? It's rather simple. We know that for four units of the pairs, okay, four units of the pairs, okay, it is equal to one unit of the oranges. Now, that's not all because the orange, the pairs include another three more. So we know this is total for pairs, which is 7U. How about the oranges? Can we make them the same? We can. This is one third of the oranges, meaning to say we have to draw another one more and another one more. So this is total for oranges. Now, because one unit equals to four of this, once again, one unit equals to four of this, I divide my one unit into a further four units. This have to be done as well, and this. So, I get 12 U total for the oranges. Hence, 12 here, 7 U for pairs here. Okay, this is how it is shown in model. But like I say in class, if you have this in fraction and you show it this way, it's correct as well. Moving on, question 7. In a school, the ratio of the number of Chinese people to the number of Malay pupils is 5 is to 2. So, Chinese to Malay, 5 is to 2. The ratio of the Malay pupils to the number of Indian pupils is 3 is to 1. So, Malay to Indian is 3 is to 1. If 
there are 845 more Chinese pupils than Indian pupils. So I'm, I'm going to compare these two, okay, Chinese and Indian. How many pupils are there in the school? Before I start doing that, I have to realize that something is common here, and that is the Malay pupils. So I have to make them the same. In this case, I should multiply by 3 here, multiply by 3 here, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. What do I get? 15 is to 6, 6 is to 2. Now, I know the difference between Chinese and Indian is this 2. So 15u minus 2u equals to 13u. 13u is represented by 845. One unit is 845 divided by 13 equals to 65. Now, how many pupils are there in the school? How many units do we have? 15u plus 6u plus 2u equals to 23u. So 23u is represented by 65 times 23 equals to 1495. So 1495.